In this episode, we are in northeastern Italy, visiting the famous beach resort and historical town of Grado. Situated in the present-day northeastern province of Friuli Giulia Venezia, the historical Italian town of Grado is located along the Gulf of Trieste that forms part of the Adriatic Sea and thus the Mediterranean. It is thus an important tourist attraction for many people within the regions of Central and Southern Europe seeking for a break on Italy's northern coastline. But as well as being a holiday resort destination, with roughly 10 kilometers of beautiful beaches along its bay, as well as accommodating locals and scenic views of the sea, the town of Grado is very historical and can trace its history back to 181 BC when it was a colony of the Roman Republic and later the Roman Empire. As a result, much of the historical old town is a UNESCO World Heritage Site that preserves Grado's ancient heritage. In antiquity, Grado was known by its Latin name Gradus, meaning military stronghold. This is because Grado was a stopover point for the ancient Roman navy to traverse its way upstream through the Natitsa River. The pedestrian-friendly old town is like walking into a living history museum, where bygone periods are still very much apparent. These ancient buildings and monuments not only pay homage to the town's illustrious history today, but they each indicate the sovereigns and rulership over Grado throughout the many epochs of antiquity. In ancient times, Grado was surrounded by walls that provided protection to the old Roman colony, and much of the old relics within it form part of what is today Grado's old town. The town began major development after 452 AD, following the invasion of Attila the Hun when many sought refuge on the island, and this resettlement contributed to some of the town's surviving historical relics. Much of the town's ruins can be attributed to the eras of Byzantine and Lombard rule during the early Middle Ages, and later on during the latter period of the Middle Ages, the Venetians. Grado remained under Venetian control until 1797 with the Treaty of Campo Formio, which saw Grado become a territory of Napoleonic France and then in 1815, it became a dominion of Habsburg Austria as part of the county of Gorizia and Gradisca, which it remained until 1918 following World War I when it was then ceded to Italy. One of the most prominent monuments in the town is the Basilica of San Eufemia, a basilica with its roots in the 4th century, and some of these early relics can still be found within its foundations today. During the 6th and 7th centuries, the basilica served as a pro-Byzantine branch of the church until the Patriarchate of Grado was formed. The basilica was a former cathedral with its own patriarchs between 575 and 1131 AD. But with the eventual founding of the Patriarchate of Venice, the status of the Patriarchate of Grado was gradually suppressed, and in 1451, it lost its cathedral status. The church today went through several restorations during the 17th, 19th and 20th centuries, but some of its 13th century frescoes are still visible within the church today. Adjacent to the cathedral is the baptistry of San Giovanni Baptista, with its roots in the 5th century. The most notable feature is its ancient hexagonal baptismal font located in the centre of the building. Today, the foundations of the baptistry and cathedral form a museum that displays various relics from the town's early Christian period. Outside of the Basilica and Baptistry, one may also find the ruins of the old Basilica of San Giovanni, which is all that has survived of this early Christian church. However, Another famous relic that still stands is the Basilica of Santa Maria della Grazia, built in the early half of the 5th century. This building still possesses some of its old mosaics and ancient tilings and was built with two levels. Located on the mainland roughly 10 kilometers from the island of Grado is the ancient town of Aquileia. This ancient Roman city was founded around the 2nd century AD and is believed to have once been home to over 100,000 inhabitants, making it one of the largest cities in the world during its heyday, although today it is just a small town with roughly 3,000 inhabitants. The town's most prominent feature is the Basilica di Santa Maria Assunta, a cathedral with its origins dating back to the 4th century AD 
However, the current cathedral was built during the 11th and 13th centuries and its wooden interior was rebuilt during the 16th century. Today, it attracts thousands of tourists each year who come to appreciate this amazing work of medieval Christian architecture, art and culture. But it is not only the church that attracts visitors to Aquileia. The old basilica is also surrounded by the ruins of the town's ancient past, including ruins that date back to the old Roman Republic and the old Roman Empire. Of course, history is not the only phenomenon attributed to modern degrado. Today, the town has 8,000 inhabitants as of 2021, and its economy is largely driven by fishing and tourism, which has flourished since the 1960s. Tourism is largely popular with people from all over Italy and Central Europe, who especially flock to the town in their thousands every summer to enjoy the town's beaches, national parks and beautiful scenery. Grado today is very much a northern Italian town as far as modern culture and language is concerned, and while its citizens primarily speak with the Gradese dialect of Italian, which is a derivative of the old Venetian dialect, many are also conversant in English and German, largely as a result of the influence of tourists. Tourists can find all sorts of suitable beaches and facilities to meet their needs. There are family-friendly beaches, beaches that cater to pet owners, and those seeking a more quiet alternative. Whilst most of the island's beaches require an affordable entry fee, there is also a public option that is just as beautiful and exciting further east of the town. For those wanting to get away from some of the historical sites and beaches, there are also several walks around the national park and lagoons. Grado is considered to be a lagoon city due to its location on the Marano Grado Lagoon, which extends from the Fossalan Island, not far from Grado, to the island of Anfora, adjacent to the small river Aousa. The lagoon itself is a tourist attraction that is home to many species of flora and fauna, and parts of this national park can be visited within several minutes drive from Grado itself. In our opinion, Grado is a gem within Europe that combines ancient and medieval history, nature walks and beautiful relaxing beaches that enables visitors with varied interests to enjoy what this town and the region has to offer. Here in Grado, we have found there is usually something for everyone, particularly during the summer, with either one or all of these interests to enjoy, and we couldn't recommend this place enough. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button and subscribe to our channel.